Hi. It's great to have you here. Hi, I love the title of your show. It's so easy. You're like, what is it? It's black ladies doing sketch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's descriptive, which is yeah. great. It's Why is it called a black lady sketch show instead of the black yes, lady sketch yes. show? Yes, yes. Well, two reasons. One, it's a who's on first joke. So okay. if you say, what are you watching? A black lady sketch show. Which one? A black lady sketch show. Mm -hmm. So you get that out of it. But also because I originally called it the black lady sketch show. And then uh, my partner, executive producer Issa Rae, said, well, we can't be the only one. Maybe we just call it a black lady sketch show. And then it's one of many. To encourage, to encourage more other to black lady sketch shows yeah. to follow. Yeah. OK, well, that makes sense. Exactly. That's a good way of looking at yeah. it. So you were on BET, like, it seems like just like a few months ago, right? <laughs> it was. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you yeah. have this sketch show for HBO. Yeah. How did that come together so quickly? So fast. So uh, almost a year ago, um, my late night show got canceled. Mm -hmm. And the aforementioned Issa Rae, who's been a friend of mine for years, called me and said, uh, you know, I heard your show got canceled. And I was like, oh, thank you. She was like, no, get up. We need to make another show. Right so, away. This right was, away. Yeah. Immediately the day I got canceled. So um, I said, well, I have this sketch show that I want to make with black ladies. And she said, great, bring it to HBO. I have a deal there. Let's pitch it. So we went and we had a dinner and sat down with the big HBO executive. Mm -hmm. And before we even got our entrees, they said, let's do it. Straight oh, to really? series. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. And then the, then the waitress comes over. And at the end of the meal, and she says, the gentleman has taken care of the bill. And I was like, the gentleman who? And she wouldn't tell us. And she was just kind of cutting her eyes, like, over there. And we look, and it's Denzel Washington. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a gentleman, all right. I know. Did you did yeah. you know Denzel? No, I don't know Denzel Washington. Not at all. He was just, I think he could tell the meeting was going well. Uh. We were very close to him, so I'm, and I'm very loud, so I'm sure he heard everything I was pitching. Technically, yeah. he might be an executive producer. He might now. be. He probably is. Have you thanked Denzel for this? I have not. I would like to. Oh, well, Can I? Oh, yeah. Oh, is this yeah. my camera? Yeah, sure. Denzel Washington, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you for the Caesar salad I ate <laughs> and for the show that you essentially paid for. And next season, if we could have some more money, I would appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really, it's, it's amazing. It's it really is cool. nice of him to do. It was so nice. Like, he's such a classy dude. I think maybe follow with an edible arrangement or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, because, something like yeah, <laughs> He's, honestly, he's probably not watching us right now. He yeah. might be. He's Denzel. He's not watching TV. No. <laughs> never know. Well, so now you've got this show, and there's an interesting twist to the show. Yeah. Your writers, yeah. your co-stars, yep. all black females. All black women, black women writers, black women director, black women head writer, black women in the core cast. Has that ever happened yeah. before? Yeah, never. Never before. Never before in history. Um, and it's so cool, because there's so many advantages to having black women. I'm used to writing in late night and sketch uh, sitcoms and comedy for years. So right. it was very rare for me to write with even one other black woman. But when you're in a room full of them, you get really comfortable. I was coming back um, during our writing period from a brunch, a business brunch that I had to go to, and I had a lot of hair in. I mean, this is all my hair, obviously. But, um, <laughs> rude. Uh, but <laughs> so I come back, and we're, they're like pitching ideas, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. And I'm just slowly taking my hair out and laying it on the table. <laughs> and, and they don't even say, they don't even say anything. And that's not like something so you normal. could have done in the past. I never would have done that in another writer's <laughs> well, All right, well, you can leave yeah. your hair laying yeah, around. That's a big advantage. Around. Can I ask you a question about in the I watched the uh, uh, first episode of the show oh, good. and there was a joke in there uh, yeah. about a cartoon character. Oh yeah, Flintstone. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What Sorry. does that mean exactly? Can I say Flintstone? Yes. Um so <laughs> So so it's it's a joke that uh, Quinta Brunson and I have where uh, she finds out that I cheated, well, I slept with her boyfriend uh -huh. a few years back. You guys are playing a little yeah, game. Yeah, we're playing yeah. a game called Never Have I Ever, mm -hmm. and one of the other cast members, Ashley, says, Never Have I Ever Slept With a Boyfriend of My Cousin Quinta, and that's my cousin on the show, and she goes, Me, Cousin Quinta? And I say, Sorry, it was Dre, he had a Flintstone <laughs> And then one of our other cast members says, What's a Flintstone And she goes, Yeah, to use your feet to make it work. <laughs>
Yeah. It made me laugh, but I didn't understand it yeah. at all. No, that's yeah. the great thing about the joke. Yeah. So our head writer, Lauren Ashley Smith, when I pitched it in the room, she goes, I don't get that joke, but I know we're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, that's my brand of humor. Jokes yeah. you don't get, but make you laugh. Yeah, jokes yeah. you don't get, but yeah. you get. Yeah. Those are the best Inherently, jokes Inherently, you get the joke. You just don't want to seem like you have a flip thing. There's that's something there. <laughs> This is fun. This looks oh like my a, God. a fun. Uh, <laughs> that's you. That's me. That's, uh, that's me. Character named Chris. Yeah, it's a character named Chris. He comes back throughout the season. The great thing about this show is that characters come back and you get to kind of check in with them. So Chris will meet this week. He is insane. He's a dude that just can't commit to anything. So he's at the altar being asked to say, I do, and uh, has a hard time. And he dances around it. Yeah. yeah. Is he based on anyone in your life? Yes, I've dated him. You have dated him, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Did the, the guy you dated yeah. look like this? Just like it. <laughs> and like, I'm not even trying to avoid lawsuits at this point. Like, that's, that's, that's has him. he contacted you about this yet? No, because it hasn't aired yet. Uh, but, um, okay. Yeah, he will, I'm sure. Okay, well, yeah, maybe now he will. <laughs> Is that bad? Should I not, like, directly impersonate ex-boyfriends? Well, I, I think, think it's too late. I think I don't think there's anything yeah, you can do true. about it now. That's yeah, well, right. we'll let the lawyers decide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations <laughs> on the show. So it, it's called A Black Lady Sketch Show. Yes. Watch it. Friday nights on HBO. Robin Feedy, everyone. Thank you, Robin. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh. Oh, oh.